What's up everybody? Paul Pitmorfs here from Denmark. Um, just going to make a little update on the papers today and uh, show you a, a few other things. Um, as you can see, I just acquired this uh, baby rack. Or yeah, I, I actually built it myself. Woke up 5 a.m. the other day and I was a little restless in the morning. And I was like, okay, what am I going to do? And I started building this and it actually turned out uh, pretty, pretty good. Um, it's nice to have all the, the babies in the separate tops. Uh, it's easier to, to know exactly who fed and when. Um, and for those of you who, who have um, more babies together in one top, don't do it. Just get some small tops, have them separated. It's much easier. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you will love it. I'm just gonna show you some of the the babies we got from our last litter, uh, from a jungle possible Nora to a DH Sunset Hyperhawk. Um, this guy I decided to keep. He is just one amazing jungle. Look at this pattern. It's uh, it's crazy. Um, some of them already fed. Also this guy. Um, but today I just got some live babies in and then um, I decided to, to try to um, offer them some more. I also still have a few that didn't eat yet. Um, boas can be a little tricky at times uh, to get going. Um, but I'm sure after I put some substrate down here and or some new substrate and some live babies, they will all eat. Um, this is also full stride baby. Um, we got 20 babies from the litter. Uh, and actually hit some pretty amazing odds. Uh, first of all, um, 20 babies, no stillborns, no slugs. And then it uh, turned out that uh, 16 of the 20 jungle, uh, the babies were jungle. So that's just amazing. Should only have gotten ten. Actually, we should have got gotten five hybrid jungles, five normal jungles, five hybrids, and five normals. But uh, yeah, it's sixteen jungles. So that's that's pretty cool. Normally, I only offer my snakes that, but. Um, when you get babies, some of them refuse to eat dead prey as their first meal. And that's why I'm offering them some live babies. We are getting our next litter in two to three weeks. So it's going to be really exciting to see what the, the huge female will deliver it's actually the girl that's going right in here she's a good 40 pounds female so uh, very very big i'm expecting that she will drop minimum 40 babies maybe even 50 but uh, i guess only time will tell some of these jungles are pretty amazing. I like the, the reduced pattern all the way down. All of them are not like high expression jungles, but uh, yeah, they still have some amazing ones. Some stunners. As you can see, I'm keeping track here with the whiteboard makers uh, on the top, so I, I can see who ate and when they ate. Um, it's a good way to, to do it. If you want to change something, you just remove and uh, retype. Very simple. Um, This is so 
always tricky. Especially when they are not scary of your finger. Um, and we will have a litter again in uh, just around one and a half month. It's a litter uh, where we used uh, the, the possible Nora again. Uh, just gave him a, a break. And then uh, I decided to put him on a, on a Surinam. So I'm looking very much forward to see what she will deliver. Um, now I know uh, what he can, can do with the with the jungles from this litter. Uh, so I'm just looking forward to see how how they're gonna look with the these amazing uh, red tails that the Surinams and Guyana boas have. Um, it's gonna be amazing. But yeah, YouTube, I'm uh, gonna stop the video here. I'm uh, gonna make a new one for you soon. Um, I hope everyone is having a great season. And um, yeah, as always, have a good one. Bye.